Hey everyone, it's Adam. I'm here today to show a quick comparison video between three different 12.9 inch iPad Pros. First up, we have the 2018 iPad Pro. This was the first iPad Pro that they redesigned in the chassis that many people are familiar with, the iPad Pro. Kind of had the squared tapered edges. It was, it was a great device at its time. A few years later, they surprised everyone by adding an M1 chip to the iPad Pro. So it used the same chassis, but this iPad Pro had an M1 processor. It also had a mini LED display, which greatly improved the image quality on the iPad. And finally, we have the brand new 5.1 inch, 5.1 millimeter thick, 5.1 inch would be really thick for an iPad, 5.1 millimeter thick M4 iPad Pro with a tandem OLED display. And so I'm gonna show you a quick video playing back an HDR video from YouTube showing the various differences in image quality between these three different iPads. So let's roll the tape. Here we're watching a YouTube video from LG. It's one of their HDR clips. On the left, we have the 2018 iPad Pro. In the middle, we have the M1 iPad Pro with the mini LED display. And on the far right, we have the new M4 iPad Pro with its tandem OLED display. Let's just roll the video and see what differences we can spot between the three displays. So could you spot all the differences in image quality between the three different displays on these three iPad Pros? Personally, I saw that the 2018 model had definitely worse image quality compared to the other two. The colors were very warm. The blacks weren't very black. However, the M1 iPad Pro and the M4 iPad Pro with the mini LED and tandem OLED displays respectively were pretty close in image quality. Yes, I could see that the OLED display was much blacker and there was less or little blooming or light bleeding in areas where there was black and then some bright color that I could see on the M1 iPad Pro. But honestly, if I had an M1 or M2 iPad Pro, I might not upgrade, or I might not recommend that you upgrade right now. If you watch a lot of YouTube videos or Netflix or streaming, yes, the image quality is better. However, if you're just using your iPad for productivity purposes, you'd be fine sticking with your M1 or M2, or even the 2018 iPad Pro, which I feel is still very powerful and suits the needs for many people today. But if you want to be on the bleeding edge and you want to get that ultra thin, that 5.1 millimeter thin iPad Pro chassis and the tandem OLED display, go ahead and upgrade to the M4 iPad Pro. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.